we present a method for interactive tracking of articulated hand motion that combines discriminative part-based pose retrieval with a generative pose estimation technique. The input to our method consists of synchronized and calibrated images from multiple RGB cameras and a monocular depth sensor. For our purposes, we captured seven sequences consisting of slow and fast hand motions. We model the hand as a kinematic skeleton consisting of 32 joints and 26 degrees of freedom. This model is also augmented with 30 uniform 3D Gaussians, each with a fixed mean, variance and colour. The input images are approximated to 2D Gaussians using a quadratory representation. Generative pose estimation finds the pose that maximizes the similarity between the 3D sums of Gaussians hand model and the 2D images. Our discriminative pose estimation method separately recovers the pose of each finger from depth data. To enable this, we synthetically create a database of poses for each finger, which is indexed by fingertip positions. After filtering the input depth data to extract the hand, we segment the palm and find the orientation of the hand using principal component analysis. The extracted hand orientation is robust to fast hand motions. Geodesic extrema features, previously used in full body pose estimation, are noisy and unreliable for the hand. We train a linear support vector machine classifier with histogram of oriented gradient descriptors as features to classify fingertip locations on depth images. The detected regions are then processed to eliminate false positives. Using the detected fingertips and the database of finger poses, we estimate the complete or partial pose of the hand. In this real-time sequence, we show results of discriminative pose estimation only. Please see the paper for more details on how we combined the candidate poses from the generative and discriminative methods to obtain the final hand pose. In this sequence, we compare our combined results with using only generative pose estimation. When pose estimation fails under fast motions, our approach recovers, while generative pose estimation does not. Our approach continues to recover throughout this sequence, while generative pose estimation drifts. We present more results with a mesh overlaid on top of the images. This sequence features slow and fast hand motions. Our method compares favourably to other state-of-the-art methods and achieves an interactive frame rate of 10 frames per second on a standard computer. Thank you for your attention.